Last chance! What are you going to do? Whatever I have to to get some answers. Remember the swag? Remember my song in the swamp when I was like, wham, chick a wham, wham, chick a wham. Every now and again, an actor comes along that makes you ask yourself questions like, are their parents the head of a studio or a Hollywood legend? Do they have dirt on the head of a studio or a Hollywood legend? Or is this a matrix and they pulled a cipher? I don't want to be rich. You know, someone important. Like an actor. Whatever you want. Basically, you wonder how in the hell they have a career. And in this case, it's Aquafina. No, not the overpriced bottled water with the strange aftertaste, but the actress slash rapper who's in hits films such as the Female Oceans film, Crazy Rich Asians, Jumanji 2, Shang-Chi, and Little Mermaid. We pulled off these songs that I think are really magical. Have you not heard the scuttlebutt? Your no, the gossip, the buzz, the who said what, who does that, yeah, the scuttlebutt. <laughs> the songs we've written. Now this seems harsh, but I'm strictly talking about her acting and career, not her character. I'm sure she's the salt of the earth and a moral paragon of virtue. So with that being said, the reason I'm baffled that she has a career is because to make it in Hollywood, a place where every actor in the world dreams to even get a modicum of success. I mean, show business is a cutthroat, doggy dog kind of. You and your do whatever it takes, ruin as many people's lives, so long as you can make a name for yourself as an investigatory journalist, no matter how many friends you lose or people you leave dead and bloodied along the way, just so long as you can make a name for yourself as an investigatory journalist, no matter how many friends you lose or people you leave dead and bloodied and dying along the way. Well, you need one of four things, preferably more than one, but at the very least one. You need to be attractive. Which, to put it delicately, Aquafina isn't the shiniest penny in the fountain. No one is going to mistake her for Jessica Henwick or Zhang Ji. I think even she would tell you that. Two, you need to be funny. Like professional comedian funny. Now, I get comedy is subjective, but... Like an operatic ballad, yo veg. Like grandpa's cabbage in my veg. Effortless, yo veg. Post ads on Craigslist. My veg, score aloe vera, yo veg. Look like Tony Dan. Let's just say your comedy audience is niche to say the least. Three, you need to be able to act. Which is obvious and while I wouldn't call her the worst, she doesn't exactly blow you away. When watching her in Ocean's 8 or Renfield or Shang-Chi, I'm not rubbing my eyes and mistaking her for Maggie Chung. Although I'm sure there will be someone who will say, well, actually, she was great in The Farewell. Which, fair enough, however, if you've been in Hollywood for a decade, and you can only point to one movie in your filmography as highlight-worthy, that ain't exactly something to brag about. The last is, are you able to fight? Which I know she really pulled off the archery scene in Shang-Chi. Wow, amazing. Truly, she has an impressive mastery of the bow, but she's not exactly Michelle Yeoh. So to summarize, she's not particularly attractive. She's not particularly funny. She's not what you'd call a great actor, and she's not great in fight scenes. So I have to ask, what, what would you say you do here? And again, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but again, she's being cast in giant films with some of the best people in the world at what they do, being paid a hefty sum to be average at best and if she's really great in the farewell maybe she should just focus on independent stuff maybe she can hone her craft and make me eat my words instead of have you not heard that scuttlebutt no the gossip the buzz the who said what who does that yeah the scuttlebutt